Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy, the Mad Kaiga. Uh, up here today with uh, part 5, I believe, of the uh, PlayStation 2 collection. Um, I, 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 uh, I love doing this uh, collection. It's one of my favourite uh, collections to go through. Uh, just to see how many cool games I've got. And uh, of course, like I said, I haven't played every single game here. And a lot of the time with PlayStation 2 games, I tend to just uh, maybe give them a quick go. Some games I'll sit there and play for a couple of hours. Other games, it's just a, a small session of maybe even 10, 15 minutes. Um, and that's the case with a lot of the older stuff, just because, uh, you know, some games don't have as much, uh, you know, unlike today where, you know, like, for example, Yakuza, it's a sort of game that I will put, you know, many hours into and play through all the story and stuff. Uh, a lot of PlayStation 2 games, I don't tend to do that. Some games are worth playing a lot of putting some time into, other games are just sort of a, a quick session here and there. And uh, I do want to work on the PS2. Um, but without further ado, let's just get straight into it. First up, we have Minority Report. Everybody runs. Um, I'm not sure if this is an actual um, uh, a movie. Yeah, it's from the same people who did the Spider-Man video game. I hear this game's actually not too bad. Um, Activision, of course. Uh, Spider-Man. Stuff like that. And who else works on it? Fox. Oh, it's actually Treyarch. It's made by Treyarch, of course. People, Treyarch went on to make Call of Duty Black Ops series, I believe. Um, so, yeah, a bit of a <coughs> history there with Treyarch. So they don't just make Call of Duty games. Then you have Metal Slug 5. Uh, Metal Slug is an awesome run-and-gun Neo Geo classic, of course, uh, SNK. Um, great arcade uh, run-and-gun games. Um, very challenging. It's, uh, I don't know anyone that can beat uh, Metal Slug without dying. It's a very challenging game. But good thing about the uh, console ports is you get unlimited continues. <laughs> then we have London Racer 2. Part of the London Racer series. Uh, there's plenty of uh, racing games set in Britain. And I believe this is an exclusive to uh, the UK as well. So uh, I don't think you'll get this in America. It might be out in America. I'm not too sure. Let me have Lemony, uh, Lemony Snickets, a series of unfortunate events, not based on the uh, Netflix show, it's based on the movie, um, and I don't know how good the game is, I, I've heard the game isn't actually that bad to be honest, made by Activision, so uh, Activision used to make good games, you know. Let me have London Racer World Challenge, another uh, classic <laughs> London Racer game, uh, lots of uh, different uh, uh, Places and uh, things to do in London. Then we have LMA Manager 2006. I'm never really um, big on football games, but you know, here's a more of a strategic game. Uh, there's plenty of um, manager uh, football manager games. You know, I haven't actually ever seen like a. Uh, they did. It's funny they didn't do like a NFL one or a basketball one or something. Maybe they did, um, but LMA is still on to this day. Let me have another. Uh, masterpiece by Blast Lassie. Uh, yeah, Blaster. You know what? It's funny because Blast uh, get a lot of these animal movie video games. You know, like Brave and stuff. Then we have Luminis Plus, um, one of uh, the Sony's um, sort of PlayStation's uh, own puzzle series. You know, it was also one on PSP as well. Um, sort of a light puzzle game. Lots of, um, almost like Tetris, almost, kind of. It's their answer to Tetris, I guess. I hear these games are pretty fun. Let me have Lotus Challenge. I have tried this one out. It's nothing great. Um, it's just a Lotus game. Uh, I didn't really like it, um, to be honest. It's nothing special. Let me have Little Britain, the game. One of the worst uh, PS2 games, I hear. It's a very terrible game. Um, just really bad controls and stuff, and of course it's made by Blast, of course. Um, I've never actually watched Little Britain, but it seems like a show that I probably would enjoy. I do have it on DVD, and it's on Netflix and stuff. Let me have another adult-themed game, and that's um, Leisure Suit Larry, Magnicum Lauder, uh, uncut edition. Um, of course, Leisure Suit Larry was a classic... Uh, uh, Leisure Suit Larry was a, a classic sort of... A point and click adventure game, of course, all evolved around, you know, sex and stuff. Um, and they actually have just done a, a remake of the original, I believe, or uh, a new uh, Leisure Suit Larry game. 
which is more of a traditional which is more of a traditional um game this one's more like a, a platformer with uh, mini games i've played a little bit of it and it's um it's nothing special but it's better than the uh uh, one that was on Xbox 360, that's for sure. LMA Manager 2004 and LMA Manager 2005. These were actually Code Masters, so they weren't actually made by um, you know EA or anything. These were uh, Code Masters, so yeah, it's, it's just proof that EA didn't own every single sports game back in the day. And we have Legion, the Legend of its Scalibur. Looks like a sort of uh, more of like a dungeon crawler RPG kind of thing, the legend of King Arthur and stuff. That's kind of interesting. It's got a bonus DVD in there, but I don't know if it does. Case is um tightly shut. I think it did come with a bonus DVD. No, I don't think it has. Just a game. Maybe the DVD's on the disc. Who knows? Not that I really care to be honest. I don't really watch those sort of things, but. Then we have the Lego, some Lego games, Lego Star Wars 2, the original trilogy. Uh, this game, a lot of people were a bit pissed off that this one wasn't the first Lego game. Um, but the Lego Star Wars games are absolutely fantastic, and of course the original as well. Um, of course, I am looking forward to the Rise of Skywalker trilogy. Um, uh, well, nine films, nine, all nine movies on one game. And the game's meant to be amazing. It's not going to be like any traditional Lego game. It's going to be more... <coughs> A fully open world and have more realistic graphics with Lego characters. It seems really cool, the new one, but um, this game's uh, free on Xbox 360 right now. If you have an Xbox One, you can download this game for free. And of course, the original where it all started. And then we have Lego Indiana Jones, of course. Um, Lego have done everything these days. Uh, what more can they do? Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it all goes with Lego. I love Lego games, it's just fun. You know, a bit monotonous, but enjoyable. Lego Winch, Empire Under Threat. Logan! Um, yeah, this is a sort of almost point-and-click adventure game. I played a tiny bit of it, and to be honest, I didn't really uh, think too much about it, to be honest. Then we have Legend of Kane. I actually got this on, on the uh, Switch. It was what I got for Christmas. I hear the game's actually not too bad. It must be alright for them to do a remaster of it, I guess. Um, so, I don't know if I'll play this version or the Switch version first. Who knows? Then we have uh, Legend of Wrestling 1 and 2. Of course, with the old uh, classics. You know, Hulk Hogan, Golden Era. Uh, of wrestlers and as for the games themselves uh, they're pretty terrible wrestling games but they're they're fun games to play with a friend as is the case with all wrestling games i don't really um play wrestling games anymore for the uh story or anything i i, I tend to play wrestling games uh with a friend or something just for a laugh that's that's more my thing uh then we have la rush uh a sort of open world uh, Pimp My Ride style of um, game. I hear this game's actually pretty good, actually. Uh, these are the sort of like Midnight Club style games that a lot of people have uh, some fans of. Let me have Killzone. It all started on the PlayStation 2. I played this on the uh, PS4, or well, the PlayStation Now, and it, it, it's pretty good for its time, but by um, but today's standards, it's nothing special. Killzone is a little bit... It's in that era of first person shooters where they didn't you know as much as i hate on call of duty i think call of duty um got the formula for first person shooters um right that's the only thing i like about call of duty is its formula um um killzone didn't have the uh as good of, as the formula as say call of duty does but still another series there kung fu panda you know i've never actually watched this film actually i hear the game's not too bad actually it's um sort of like a beat em up style game uh, platformer let me have lego racers 2 i remember the first one on ps1 really fun um game actually because you get to build your own like car and stuff and uh almost like a kart racer logan and uh yeah i i like this um these these games they're actually pretty fun i remember legoland back in the day had the arcade version of the first game 
Looney Tunes back in action based on the movie. I like the movie. Um, as for the game, I've never actually played the game. And then we have uh, Looney Tunes Acme Arsenal. This is more like a uh, um, like a action shooter um, platformer. Of course, uh, I love Looney Tunes. Uh, the fact that I've got Sylvester tattooed on my arm just goes to show how much I love Looney Tunes. Le Mans 24 Hours, based on the uh, Le Mans circuit. Le Gaia 2, Jewel Saga, another RPG series. Um, I've never played any of the Le Gaia games. I think there's like three, I think. I, I could be wrong. Um... I think the first one was on PS1, I could be wrong. Got a couple of uh, Tomb Raider games. They've got Lara Croft, Angel of Darkness. Logan! Um, this is the game that a lot of people felt ruined the Edios um, uh, Tomb Raider games. It, it sort of ruined it because it was more like a, a spy game than, you know, Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider Legend. Never really played many of the Tomb Raider games. And Tomb Raider Anniversary, I believe is a, a remake of the first game, actually. Um, I think it's a remake or a remaster of the first game, I could be wrong. Or reimagining. We have Kesson 2. This is an amazing strategy game for PlayStation 2. There's three of them. Uh, the second one is based on the uh, Three Kingdoms. The first and the third one are based on the uh, Sengoku um, era. This is based on the Three Kingdoms. They're really good strategy games for PlayStation. Um, definitely if you like um, Total War, this is as close to Total War that you'll ever get on a PlayStation console. And uh, yeah, it's actually really good. I played the first one. I haven't tried the others yet. Oh, and uh, before I might as well show, I've got all three of them here. The first. Uh, all three of them, and of course they're Koei branded games, so got to have the uh, the Kesson series. Kind of a series that I'm hoping will come back. Maybe I'll put these aside and post that on Twitter. See if Koei uh, says anything about it. Justice League Hero, uh, the Marvel Ultimate Alliance wannabe. It's okay, but it's nowhere near as good as uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance. I, I think I prefer Marvel to DC, but I love Batman, so. James Pond, codename Robocop, another old school platformer here. Not many 2D platformers on uh, PlayStation 2, but here's one. 007, Everything or Nothing, a pretty good 007 game. I just haven't actually got too far in it, but it's a pretty good um, 007 game, but it's got a co-op mode, so I, I should have really tried that one out in co-op. Then we have Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, where it all began. I've only played a tiny bit of the first game. Um, I do have the complete saga upstairs, or the story untold on um, PS4, which includes pretty much all of them up to, you know, between 1 and 2, and all the, you know, the parts and stuff. There's so many Kingdom Hearts games, it's unbelievable. And the story's just all over the place, so, you know, Kingdom Hearts 1, and then there's all these... Uh, Game Boy and Portable ones before the second one, then there's more. It's, it's just look up the timeline, it, it's crazy. Um, but a, a very good series. It's basically Final Fantasy meets uh, uh, Disney, of course. Um, you know. Yeah, excellent series, I hear. Let me have Kuri Kuri Mix, a pretty unique party game. Um, it's pretty cool though because you can. You, you share a controller, so one person uses one side of the controller, one uses the other side. Um, kind of an interesting concept, but it don't work very well. Let me have Knockout Kings. Um, I believe this is before Fight Night. Um, so yeah, another boxing game there. Let me have Knight Rider the game. Pretty uh, terrible game, unfortunately. Uh, Knight Rider didn't really get a good treatment when it comes to video games. Kelly Slater, Pro Surfer. Um, I think as far as surfing games go, this one's pretty good, actually. Um, I've never played it, but it looks pretty good. I'm not really a big surfing fan, to be honest. Then we have Kill Switch. This is basically um, the game that really started um, the cover system. So, you know, like the Gears of War style cover system. This is the game that sort of 
um, started that style of cover system. It's not perfect, but I hear it's a, a pretty um, good game for what it was. Then we have a uh, Midnight Club 1 and 2, uh, excellent um, street racing games, and they're made by Rockstar. Rockstar's never really made a bad game. I mean, some of their older games don't hold up as well as the, some of their newer games, but Rockstar have been on fire when it comes to video yeah. games. They, I, I can't really name a bad Rockstar game. If you can, let me know in the comments below. Ah, then we have the beloved Metal Gear Solid 2. A lot of people don't like Metal Gear Solid 2, and I don't know why. It, it, it took everything that was great about the first one and just, um, you know, improved on it, really, in my opinion. Um, excellent, excellent series, and of course it's sad, obviously, what happened to Kojima, but, you know, Metal Gear Solid Trilogy is, um, is an excellent trilogy. Um, still hoping that they would have remade the first one, but I don't think that will ever happen. Uh, Monopoly Party, uh, just a Monopoly game with a bunch of, um, boards. Um, if you ever wanted to play Monopoly with, uh, bots, I guess you could. Then we have Rocky Legends, uh, better than the other Rocky game, but uh, not really amazing. Then we have uh, Midway Arcade Treasures 3, it includes 8 um, classic Midway um, uh, racing games, and of course they're all there. The main one is uh, Hydro Thunder in my opinion, I love Hydro Thunder, excellent game. And then we have Midnight Treasures um, 2. Uh, sorry, Midway Arcade Treasures 2. Includes 20 Midway Classics. Of course, um, Mortal Kombat uh, 2 and 3 being the, the big ones there, of course. Um, some good ones there. Rampage is a classic. Uh, uh, Total Carnage is another fun one as well. Then we have Monster House. Uh, the movie's actually not too bad. Kind of a... Pretty scary uh, kids movie. Then we have Kengo, Master of Bushido. Another sort of um, uh, samurai combat game, of course, based more around strategy rather than just mashing buttons. Then we have Killer7. It was This game was meant to be an exclusive for the GameCube. Um, of course, Capcom like, had like six games that were meant to be exclusive for the GameCube. And only one of them stayed exclusive. But this game's actually really uh, interesting, I hear. It's a pretty good cell shaded adult game with an interesting concept. I've never played it, but I hear good things about it. Then we have Jacked. This is basically like a Road Rash style game. And it's actually pretty fun. Uh, I played it with a friend before, and it's actually a pretty fun game. Then we have the Jack and Daxter series. We have the Precursors Legacy. I am missing one. I've never actually played any Jack and Dax game apart from Dax, Dax on PSP. Jack 2, these games are kind of like, you know, Ratchet and Clank almost. Uh, have been remade for the PlayStation 4, so you can get them on that. Jack 3, and Jack X. But I hear this game um, had a, a corruption problem with your memory card. Apparently this game... Some of these games, uh, the save file didn't work and it corrupted your memory card. That's why I haven't played this. Um, I, I might just get it on PS4 just to, just to be on the safe side. Um, I don't know if that's true or not, but I don't want to take any chances. Let me have my only Guilty Gear game on PS2. There's plenty of Guilty Gear games out there. Guilty Gear X2 hashtag reload. Of course, uh, Guilty Gear is a anime uh, fighting game, of course, lots of uh, combos and things. Pretty good series of fighting games. Moto GP3, of course, uh, originally an arcade game. The arcade game's pretty fun. Um, this game's kind of like a mix between arcade and simulation, but gotta love a bit of Moto GP. Moto Siege, Warriors of Prime Time. I believe this is the an arcade. Racer style, futuristic racer. Uh, then we have Mortal Kombat Armageddon. 
of course, um, I love the these Mortal Kombat games. This is this is a, probably one of the best ones you'll ever play. It's got 60 characters, make your own fighter, make your own fatality, uh, a story mode where you get to explore, uh, and of course uh, the kart racing. Uh, this is kind of like the best Mortal Kombat you ever play. And, and Deadly Alliance is another good one as well. Um, like you had the chess combat and the puzzle combat, and it's a shame that Mortal Kombat sort of hasn't done that in a while. Haven't given us all the like the bonus modes um but if you're going to play a mortal kombat this is the one to get in my opinion uh deadly alliance another pretty good mortal kombat game the 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 thing in this game was the fact that each character had three styles of um fighting two um un uh, um hand-to-hand -hand combat ones and of course the third one was like a weapon you could use he's a pussy kid he little pussy kid then we have Mr. Bean, it's made by Blast, but I love Mr. Bean, so it's based on the animated series, but I love Mr. Bean, it's one of my all-time favourite shows. Then we have Mike Tyson's uh, Heavyweight Boxing, I think this was originally a PS1 game. And then last but not least, probably the one of the best PlayStation 2 games of all time, Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater, and this, I've never seen this... Uh, reversible sleeve cover of course um this game is absolutely fantastic it took what was great about metal gear solid and gave it like a survival aspect you know you had to hunt animals and you eat them uh, the the camouflage you know the face paint the boss fights were amazing it is it, it just embodies what a metal gear solid game is about and uh, in my opinion this is probably the best metal gear solid game ever made but i still prefer the first one for its story but this game is absolutely a must play if you don't want to play it i understand because it is kind of one of those games that is quite challenging for newcomers but definitely watch a playthrough of this game because it is absolutely amazing oi leave the cat alone pissing her off but there we go that's um part five done today um i could do another part today if i really wanted to but i'm um, sorry it's not as long but um like i said i try to keep these um parts under 30 minutes so i don't have to do any um editing the two parts together because i have a limit of 30 minutes for some reason but um still um some good stuff here today yeah some pretty good games and stuff but I, I absolutely love the uh, playstation 2 and i think i might uh actually uh try and continue on with some playstation 2 at some point maybe next week or something start some ps2 games and stuff but anyway if you enjoyed today's video feel free to leave a like and of course comment below let me know your favorite playstation 2 any of these games in here that i haven't given enough love of course always let me know i love reading the comment and as always feel free to subscribe if you haven't already i apologize for the background noise i can't do much about that um oi leave her alone and as always um feel free to uh, subscribe if you haven't already and as always guys follow me on twitter and instagram at the mad Kyger. and as always have a nice day and i will see you in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.